Did you ever wake up and find out you are now married to a chieftain smoking hot daughter? Well, that's what happened in this 2000 movie called Shanghai Noon. So sit back, press the CC subtitles, and enjoy the video. In 1881, Chan Wang, a homophone for John Wayne, is a Chinese Imperial Guard in the Forbidden City. Princess Pei Pei is supposed to marry an unattractive guy. Princess Pei Pei, aided by her foreign tutor, runs away to the United States. The Emperor of China sends three of his guards and the royal interpreter to retrieve her. Having failed to stop her escape, Wang insists on joining the mission as he learned English from his uncle. The royal interpreter, Wang's uncle, allows him to accompany the party, and the captain of the Imperial Guards hopes the foreign devils will get rid of Wang. The party arrives in Nevada, where outlaw Roy O'Bannon and his gang hijack their train. Wallace, a new member of Roy's gang, kills Wang's uncle, and Wang, a skilled martial artist, fights off the gang before uncoupling the train cars and escaping on the engine. Wallace takes over the gang. Meanwhile, Pei Pei, tricked into believing she was freely escaping her arranged marriage in China, learns she has been kidnapped by an agent of Lo Fan, a traitor who fled the Forbidden City. Andrews, the foreign tutor becomes greedy and is killed in by Lo Fan. Wallace leaving Roy buried up to his chin in the desert. Wang finds Roy and demands to know the direction to Carson City. Roy tells him the city is on the other side of a mountain and Wang leaves two chopsticks in Roy's mouth to dig himself out. Reaching the other side of the mountain, Wang saves a Sioux boy from the Crow tribe and half-consciously marries the Sioux chief's daughter, Falling Leaves, and sleeps with her during the wild celebrations. Wang finds a small town and encounters Roy in a tavern, he accidentally reveals Roy is cheating in a card game, inciting a barroom brawl. The two are sent to jail, and share each other's stories. Tempted by mention of the gold ransom, Roy offers to help Wang find the princess. Wang uses his urine to wet his clothes and bend the bars of the cell. After Falling Leaves helps them escape, Wallace and his gang arrive at the tavern. Surprised to learn Roy isn't dead, Roy trains Wang in the ways of the cowboy, assisted by Falling Leaves. In Carson City, Roy discovers that both he and Wang are wanted, Roy having only a $500 bounty while Wang have $1,000 on his head. This is because of Lo Fang's ally Marshal Nathan Van Cleef, Roy and Wang trapped in bar. Wang throws Roy out to the marshal while he escapes at the back door, fighting the men with a horseshoe on a rope while Roy engages on a duel. Wang throws a sheriff's star to Van Cleef, narrowly escaping capture. They reach Roy's hideout a bordello, and bond with each other while recuperating there. Wang overheard Roy saying that Wang is just a Chinaman and not an actual friend. Wang encountered Van Cleef and fought him but is arrested because Wang's horse is too drunk to escape. They are abducted by Van Cleef, and discover that Lo Fang is behind the princess abduction. Lo Fang severed Wang's queue preventing him to return to China and report to the emperor according to imperial decree. As they are about to be hanged, Wang frees himself, falling leaves shoots Roy loose, and they escape. Wang, upset at overhearing Roy tell a prostitute he is not Wang's friend, rides off alone. He finds Pei Pei in Lo Fang's labor camp, but she wishes to stay and help the enslaved Chinese laborers. Lo Fang discovers Wang and attacks him, but Roy appears, saving Wang. The next day, the Imperial Guards bring gold to the Carson City Mission Church to ransom Pei Pei from Lo Fang, but the exchange is complicated by the appearance of Wang and Roy. Wang kneels before the Imperial Decree shown by the captain, but Wang finally stands up and disregarded as he stands on the American soil. Wang tells his fellow guards he will not allow them to take the princess against her wishes. As the guards and Lo Fang fight, Van Cleef arrives and engages Roy in a gunfight. Roy survives unscathed, and shoots Van Cleef through his sheriff's star, killing him. Wang fights the Imperial Guards as Lo Fang chases Pei Pei through the rafters of the church, but Wang convinces his guards to let him go to Pei Pei's aid instead. Wang and Lo Fang reach the bell tower, and Pei Pei is wounded. Wang dismantles the bell, causing the ropes to strangle Lo Fang to death. The Imperial Guards agree to let Pei Pei remain in Nevada, and reward Wang and Roy with the ransom gold. Wallace and his gang arrive at the church, and demand that Roy and Wang come out and fight, but find themselves surrounded by the Sioux. At a Chinese cultural celebration, Roy shares a passionate kiss with Falling Leaves while Pei Pei embraces Wang. Wang and Roy, who reveals his real name to be Wyatt Earp, become sheriffs and ride off after a new band of train robbers. If you like more of my videos please consider liking and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on more movie hidden gem recaps. Thank you.